Jones. This is the guy where all this rock and roll was born in the CFL days and the WLS AM days. A Chicago legend, put your hands together for the one and only Dick Biondi! This is the Wild Life Trillion, Dick Biondi. Dick Biondi is a unique force of nature. Browsers are red, violets are blue. If I don't read a commercial, the boss says I'm through. Who is that? Is he on something? And then you go back. Well, what was that? That's me. That's right, it's you. Yes, it's me. He was the original radio rock star who could be airlifted in by helicopter, who would amass so many people who would they would tear his clothes off as if he were the rock star. He had great ears. He was responsible for a lot of big hits. He introduced listeners to Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee Lewis. Biondi was the first guy to play a Beatle record in America. He was in the recording studio when the Stones did Satisfaction. He's helped so many people's careers. Whatever Dick could do for you, well, he was always there. We recorded Surfer Girl, and then Mike said, why don't we take it to Dick Biondi? They played it, and people called in on the floor and said, we love that record. He played music by black artists that the, not a lot of people were playing. He was one of the first guys to play with Little Richard's record. And I says, Richard, remember Dick Biondi? He said, of course I do. If it wasn't for Dick Biondi, there would be no Little Richard. Dick Biondi, the American rock and roll disc jockey. Let's have three hours of rockin' and rollin'. The kids trusted him. And they knew if he liked something, if he was pushing a band, you knew it was worth your attention. And he was always right. There was nobody like Biondi. We listened every single night. We never missed a show. Dick Biondi was the voice in our cars, the voice under our pillows, and the voice that rocked America. Do you want to stick around? We'll have some fun.